Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we will start with the markup of our uh, header section, which is the navigation and uh, the hero section. So let's get started. First of all, let's plan how to write the markup of this design. First thing we'll do is we'll create a wrapper division to hold everything. And then we'll create a division called desktop nav for this navigation menu. That's because we'll be having a mobile navigation as well. So we'll have to create two navigation menus and then we'll create a division with a name like hero container or something. And uh, we'll have two divisions in that one for the left part and one for the right part, which is the image. So with that said, let's go to our code editor VS code. And uh, this is where we are right now. We have already linked our CSS file and our main.js file. And we have also added the link of our Google fonts. So let's go ahead and start with the header. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create a division with a class of wrapper. Now, since VS code has Emmet already installed, we can just type dot wrapper and then press tab and it will create a division with a class of wrapper. And in the wrapper division, we will create a nav with a class of desktop nav. And uh, let's see what do we have in the nav. So here we can see we have the logo and uh, then the menu icons. And then we also have this button. So we'll create a division with a class of logo and in that we'll place the logo. Now before that, let me show you that I have exported all the images from Figma. So these are all the images. And uh, if you haven't done that already, you have to do it because uh, we will need those images in our design. And I have also shown you how to do this in the previous video. And I also gave a link of the Figma file. So you can download the file and go ahead and export these images out. So let's go ahead and add the image right here. But before that, let's add an anchor tag so that when we click on the image, we want to go to the top of our web page. Now for the href, I'll just type hash. And in the anchor tag, we'll just type img tab. And in the sources, we'll just type images slash and I have given the name logo.svg for uh, the logo. All right, that's it with the logo. Now let's go ahead and uh, create the unordered list for the menu items. So we'll just type ul for unordered list and we'll give the class of menu items. And in that we'll have some list items. And in the list item, we will have an anchor tag. For now, I'll just type hash over here. Later, we'll change the href so that it will navigate to the correct section. So the first one in our uh, menu item is about. So I'll type about over here and I'll just copy this uh, list item. And uh, we have four menu items. So let me just copy this three more times. And uh, then we have our projects, testimonials and contact. And for the first one, we have this underline over here. So that is basically a class that we are adding in our CSS. So we'll just add that class over here for the first menu item. So we'll add a class of active. And uh, lastly, we need to have the button. So we have this get started button. So for the button also, we'll have the same list item and anchor tag. And uh, we'll give a class called button for this, we'll, which we'll style using CSS. And uh, here we'll type get started. So that's basically it with the desktop navigation. Now I have this extension called live server. So if you go to extensions and uh, search for live server, you can find it over here and uh, just install that so that uh, you can just right click over here and click on open with live server. Now this tab will refresh every time you hit save on VS code. All right. So the next thing we need to do is we need to add the hero section. So here I will just add a comment to add a comment. You can just press control plus forward slash, and then you can type whatever comment you want. So I'll just type end of desktop navigation. All right. Now let's go ahead and start with the hero section. So for that, we'll create a header element. And we'll give it a class of hero container. 
and we'll divide the header into two sections one for these three elements welcome to and the heading and these two buttons and the other for this image so for the left one we'll just give it a class of left and uh, and that will create a paragraph and uh, we'll type welcome to and for this heading we will have an h1 so just type h1 and uh, we'll just type gt web design and here we can see gt is colored red so we have to give it a specific class so that we can style using css and give it a color of red so for gt we will create a span and we'll give the class of gt and uh, we will have the ending tag after gt so now we have added a span with the class of gt and uh, now we'll be able to target gt class in our style.css file and then we'll be able to change the color of gt now we have not added a division over here that is because if we add a division it will break this into two lines so gt will be on a separate line so that's why we didn't use any division span is an inline element so it doesn't break the line now next we have two buttons so we'll have an anchor tag with a class of button and we'll just type hash for the href and uh, inside the anchor tag we'll just type get started and then we have one more button called learn more so I'll just duplicate this and uh, here I will just type learn more now this button has a different color so we will add one more class over here so that we can target that using CSS cyan so this button will have the cyan color now that's it with the left part of our hero container now let's move to the right part now in the right we just have an image so I'll just type img and for the source we'll type images slash hero image so this is the name that I've given for the image so let's go to our uh, web page and uh, this is how it looks now the last thing to do is uh, we need to add these polygons and uh, this uh, shape right here so let's go over here and uh, we'll just type img tab and uh, in sources we'll type images slash hero bg this is the name that I've given for the hero background so here we can see that the image is uh, being loaded now we need to add the polygons as well so we'll create a polygon container division and in that we'll add all the polygon images so I'll just type img images slash polygon and uh, I'll just duplicate this two more times and then we have polygon 2 and polygon 3 We'll also give different classes to these polygons so that we can style them differently. So for the first one, we'll just give it a class of polygon. And I'll just copy this. And for the second one, we'll give it a class of polygon 2. And for the third one, we'll give it a class of polygon 3. So that's basically it with the hero section and the navigation menu of our website. So let's go ahead and uh, add a comment end of hero section now let's go to our uh, web page and see whether everything is working all right so everything seems to be working all right that's basically it for this video we have completed the markup of our header section in the next video i'll show you how to make it look exactly like this by using css so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.